What's going on guys, your boy Hansa back at it again today with another video and yes, welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday and in today's video we're going to be breaking down Loop Cloud 5, I'm going to show you the features and benefits, pros and cons, is it worth it, is it not, we're also going to compare it to Splice, but before we get into the video guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button with the notification bell, support your boy, also I am not sponsored by either party, therefore the opinions I'm sharing with you are my own, they're not influenced by anybody and I'm going to be as fully transparent as possible, with that being said guys, let's get into this video. Before I get into the video guys, I want to let you know that I have some timestamps below so you're able to skip to the specific part that you're looking for. With that being said, we're going to break down the Loop Cloud website right now. All right guys, so this is the homepage when you log into Loop Cloud. You have the instrument section right here, which shows you all the instruments that they offer. You have genres. You have labels over here as well if you're looking for like a specific sample pack. And over here you have the key and BPM so you're able to filter through the sounds. And over here you have the popular packs right here listed to you on the right as well. You have some of the recent releases, exclusive packs as well. Just a bunch of stuff over here, guys. And you look at the bottom, it shows you the labels as well. On the right, you have your library, which shows you all the sounds that you've downloaded, or at least like purchased as far as some of the packs. And over here, it shows you your favorites, the ones which you hearted. And over here, it tells you the amount of credits that you have left. And you're able to click the upgrade button right here if you want to upgrade your plan as well. You have the features tab over here. When you click it, it takes you here. Showing you like some of the features that they offer. When you click on plugin suite, it takes you over here. Showing you Loop Cloud Drum and Loop Cloud Play, which I'll be breaking down later on. And you have tutorials over here, and it takes you to this page. If you're looking for like a specific feature that you're not sure how to use, they break it down for you right here in YouTube videos, which is pretty solid. And then over here you have sounds, which takes you back to the main page. And right now I'm going to show you guys how much they charge per month. So when you click on plans, you have artists, which is $7.99 a month. You have studio, which is $11.99 a month. You also have professional, and they have like different points, and they also have different cloud storage and machine limits. I personally have the 1199 one. I felt like 300 points was pretty good. So now you might be thinking to yourself that 300 points equals 300 samples. It doesn't. Because with Loop Cloud, some samples are actually two points. Some of them are four points. Some of them are one point. Some of them are free. So technically, 300 will not necessarily get you 300 samples. I just want to make that clear. And the monthly plan doesn't only include the points that you get for the samples, but it also includes the two plugins, which is the Loop Cloud Drum and Loop Cloud Play. So I just want to make that clear as well. So you're getting a little more than just the points. So now I'm going to start selecting some sounds, but what I recommend is you don't use the website, but use the desktop app. And the reason behind that is you're able to adjust the sound and manipulate it, which I'm going to go through right now. I just want to make it clear that the website is not the go-to place for you to pick samples. So let me show you the desktop app right now. Before you select your sounds, I recommend you go to AU Instruments, go to Loop Masters, at least if you're losing Logic Pro X, and go to Loop Cloud and open it up right here. Now the reason you want to do that is because every sample that I select right now is going to be sunk to the template that I currently have on Logic Pro X, which is a super fire feature, and I'm going to go into more details. Now you notice on the bottom over here it says 150 BPM, that's because it's matching the tempo that I have in Logic Pro X right now. So now I'm going to pick Instrument, I'm going to go to Piano, and you're able to go over here if you want to change the tempo by moving these sliders. Let's go to 150 to match what we have in Logic. And let's go for a minor key. And now all the samples that pulls up are going to be in a minor key and a 150 BPM. So let's select this one, for example. With Loop Cloud, what you're able to do is play multiple samples at once. So I can click on track two, track three, track four. You have up to eight samples at once, which is super crazy. So let's go to track two. When you click the auto button over here, everything that you play is going to match the key of the previous one that you selected. So this one is in the A flat key. So I go to track two and A flat is going to be G sharp. I wish they had more options, but I mean, if you know a little bit of theory, you might be able to work around it. And now every sample that I'm going to select is going to be in that A flat key, which is super fire. So... And now you're also able to adjust the sample itself. I could pitch it through here. I'm able to slice it with the scissor tool. And you can hit Command Z if you want to undo just like a regular DAW. I'm able to shorten it. When you hit the FX edit here, you get this plus icon here. And you're also able to add some effects on there, whether it's reverb, pan, or filter, or delay. So you're pretty much able to manipulate the sample inside Loop Cloud without buying it, which is super fire. So let's say you already have some stuff going on Logic Pro X. You could just edit the sample through here, and if it works, you could just download it and drag it in. And if you don't like it, you could just look for another sample and chop it up. Plus, it gives you more options. So that way, like, everything that's in, let's say, F minor is going to work because it already pitched it for me to sync in with the first melody. So definitely a fire feature on that. You're also able to go to the sample itself. When you hover over it, you're going to get this black arrow. You're able to adjust the volume on it. Now that I have these two playing together, let me try to find like a snare or something to add in there, right? Get rid of the 150 BPM over here. And let's go to one shot. And let me type in snare over here. Add that as a tag. So now what I'm able to do is drag the sample to the correct spot. 
see if I like it. And if I like it, I could drag it in there. I could lower the volume on it. Let's say I add some reverb on the snare for now. Let's go to snare med room. And then you could adjust it through here as well. Boom. Let me just take this off for now. Now, another feature that Loop Cloud has for you guys is you're able to add stuff that's not in the same exact tempo. Now, let me clarify that. So let's say I go here and I want to select the melody, right? Let's go to loop and let's look for like a guitar, right? We're going to hit the auto button so it matches the key that we had in the previous ones. And over here, you can click match tempo. So it's going to give you a range between 144 to 156 and it'll automatically adjust the tempo for you so that it works with the two samples that you have, which is the 150 BPM, super fire. So now I'm going to click this 144 GM muted guitar. It's not the greatest instrument. I'm just showing you that it's in sync with the previous two that we had. Now, when you think about the two features I showed you, which is the one that matches the tempo, then you have the one that matches the pitch, it increases your library a lot more. And I feel like that's one of the best features that they have on Loop Cloud. Now, I want to make it very clear to you guys. If you want to drag this into your DAW, you want to hit the buy files here first, and you want to hit download all right here, and you want to click the process version. You don't want to click the original version because when you click the original version, one is going to be out of key and two is going to be out of sync. I tried that earlier in Logic Pro X and I literally had to recreate an entire beat once. So yes, grab the process one and you're able to drag them individually just by clicking over here, dragging this one, dragging them all. That's what I would recommend you do. I don't recommend you drag everything at once, especially if you're trying to mix the record, but definitely a fire feature from Loop Cloud and that's how you select sounds through it. So now I'm gonna drag the sounds that we just created in the Logic Pro X. Again, we're gonna grab the process one, bring it here. Let's go to this one here, bring the process one. So I just dragged everything into Logic Pro X and they're all gonna pop up as audio files. That's just one way of dragging samples into Loop Cloud. Now let's say you don't wanna do any processing on the sample itself. You just wanna drag maybe some one shots like snares, kick hi-hats. Just grab the original sample, take it here to the empty region, quick sampler, original, optimize, whichever you prefer. And boom, you got it right there for you. One more thing I wanted to mention about Loop Cloud before I get into Loop Cloud Drum and Loop Cloud Play is you're able to select the pack. You can download the entire pack or you can just download individual sounds that you like. As you can see right here, guys, there's a different point system. So this one is eight points, four points. Some of them are free, some of them are two points. So I just want to reiterate that, that 300 points does not necessarily mean 300 samples. So now we're going to get into Loop Cloud Drum and Loop Cloud Play. I want to go to AU Instruments, Loop Masters, Loop Cloud Drum. Now this is the Loop Cloud Drum and it's very similar to the Step Sequencer in Logic Pro X. When you raise the volume over here, it pretty much raises the velocity, pretty much adds a note. You're able to use this area right here to increase the amount of times that note hits. You're able to adjust the parameters right here. Now this is all going to be for the kick, but if let's say you want to go for a snare, click that right there, the hi-hats. Now usually they have some like pattern created by somebody. You can just go here and it shows you all the packs or patterns that they offer. If you want to get rid of them, you can just hit the clear button over here and put clear all, and then boom, you have an empty region. So let's say I want to add a kick right now on like a basic snare pattern. Now they're all 16 steps, but if you want to have more steps, you can just hit the B section over here and you're able to have pretty much like a one, two, if you click on AB over here, or you can have AA played and B plays. Whatever you want to do. You're able to adjust the sounds right here by increasing the attack, hold, decay, drive, whatever you want to do to it. You're also able to click the get more button over here if you want to download some sounds. So now I'm going to show you guys an example of one of their kits. You can just hit this arrow here if you want to change it. If you want to add more to it. Adjust it how you feel. And it syncs in with everything. Now, for me personally, I wouldn't be using Loop Cloud Drum. Like, it's a cool feature and everything. Um, I just feel like Logic Pro X's Step Sequencer is a little more efficient because you're able to drag in all your samples in there and save it and all that stuff. And I feel like Loop Cloud Drum is just like an extra step to that, and it pretty much has the same exact features. I'm not knocking it. I think it's a cool idea that they included that in there for free. I mean, you can't complain about that. Now, me personally, it's not my workflow kind of style, but if you did have drum pads and you're interested in, like, you know, trying it out, you can definitely go with that. Now I'm going to show you guys Loop Cloud Play. We're going to go back to AU Instruments, Loop Masters, Loop Cloud Play, just to give you a quick brief. So same thing, you can click this area over here and you're able to change the different sounds that they offer. I haven't went through all the sounds myself, so I can't really tell you if it's good or bad, but you're able to adjust the sound through here as well. You're able to get more packs and add them in there. 
pretty much like another VST for you to have some sounds. So it's free. It's not bad. I like the fact that they include something like this in here. Now, like I said, I haven't went through the sounds myself, but it doesn't sound like a bad option for me to one day just go through there and see if I can make a beat out of it. But you have that option as well in Loop Cloud Play. And like I said, you're able to adjust it and modify the sound. So now I'm going to walk you guys through the Loop Cloud website. Now I want to make it clear they don't have an app, which it would be nice if they did. But the website functions just about the same. You're able to go to instruments, select the sound that you like the genres, the labels, you're able to see the popular packs, the recent releases, exclusive packs. It's the same process when it comes to downloading sounds. So let's say we go to instrument, let's say we go to snare. You're able to click the sound, test it out. You're able to buy it right there on the spot. You're able to like it. If you wanna download it later, like go back to the like section on the regular page and like see if you wanna download it or not. You can't do any adjustments on it through here, but it's still like a good way for you to like look for sounds prior and see what you could use in the future. Now, you know, last week, if you saw my splice video, you know how the issue with it were like, I would scroll all the way down and select the sound and like it would take me all the way back to the top. You don't have that issue right here with Loop Cloud. Now, I want to make it clear the bird is not actually in the sample. It's a watermark to add in there. I'm assuming to protect themselves from people stealing the sound itself. Now, I understand that. But for me, when I'm paying a certain price point a month, I would like to not have the watermark because I feel like it alters my perspective of the sample. Like I want to hear the sample for what it is, which is something I respect about Splice that they don't do. Uh, but yeah, that's my only gripe. It's not a big deal because I understand the perspective they're coming from. But that's just something I wanted to mention in there for you guys to know. So I got my notebook right here and it kind of has my notes on it. So I'm able to not lose track. And now I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of Loop Cloud 5 at the same time compared to Splice. I'm going to go over four different things, which is value, workflow, interface, and sound selection. Again, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm only giving my opinion. And if you're watching it from an audience perspective, go for what you value more. Don't worry about my opinion. And if you're watching it, whether you're a representative of Splice or Loop Cloud, take this as customer feedback. Don't take this as me being negative or harsh. It's to help you improve as a brand and become better as far as offering a better service, if that makes sense. So let's get into the first one, which is value. When it comes to value, they have similar price points. They're not far off from each other. Like the first package for Loop Class starts at $7.99 for 100 points. Same thing with Splice, which is $7.99 for 100 credits or 100 samples. And then for Loop Cloud, you have the Studio, which is $11.99 for 300 points, while Splice offers the $13.99 option. Same thing for both when it comes to the 600 and then Splice offers another plan for a thousand samples for $29.99 a month. Now, when it comes to value on this one right here, it's pretty much a debatable topic because with Loop Cloud, you're getting a hundred points. That does not mean a hundred samples. So if you value samples more, you're going to have a better time going with Splice because they're going to have more samples for you to download. But if you're interested, for example, in cloud storage, you're interested in the drum, uh, Loop Cloud drum and the Loop Cloud play, you could go for that. If you're interested in manipulating samples, you're able to do that as well. So at the end of the day, it really depends. If you're like the kind of artist who starts off with their sample and you're not trying to adjust it to do any manipulation on it and you just want more samples, Splice is the way to go. But if you want to adjust your samples directly through there, then Loop Cloud is the way to go. Debatable topic. If you want my personal perspective, I prefer Splice's offering because um, 100 points doesn't necessarily mean 100 samples. It could be literally 50 samples. I don't care too much about Loop Cloud Play or Loop Cloud Drum. That's just me personally. Um, as far as manipulating samples, that's cool. I actually like the fact that you're able to adjust the tempo on it and pitch it. Like, that's pretty cool. But I could also do that as well on Logic Pro X as far as the pitching, the sampling, as far as the tempo. That's pretty cool. But yeah, me personally, I value sound option or sound selection more. So I'm going to go with Splice. That's just my personal opinion. Now, when it comes to workflow, easily, easily, easily Loop Cloud. It syncs automatically to your DOS tempo. You're able to audition sounds. You're able to manipulate it right there. Um, you're able to have multiple samples playing at once. I mean, literally the whole nine yards. When it comes to splice, on the other hand, I would sometimes have like a drum playing, like a drum pattern, and I would have to like time when I would click the sample to see if it's going to work or not. On top of that, with Loop Cloud, you're able to try out the sample, see if it works, and then buy it. With splice, it's like I would have to buy it and then download it and then, you know, add it into my DAW to see if it works. So when it comes to workflow, Loop Cloud easily takes the cake on this one right here. And I think Splice should add a feature like that because if they add a feature like that, it's going to be a whole different level for them. Now, when it comes to organization and interface, I'd have to give it to Splice. That's just my personal opinion. They're all clean. They're all straight to the point. But I feel like with Splice, it looks a lot more spacious. It doesn't look overwhelming. But when I go on Loop Cloud, it's like so much going on. You know, that's just me at the end of the day, in my opinion. And I like the fact that Splice has an app, although their app kind of bugs out. Like I, I do think that like, you know, Loop Cloud should make an app. 
Um, it would be cool if they make an app where you're able to adjust the sample on there. That would be like next level. But yeah, it's really a matter of preference though. So I don't want to go too deep into interface, but that's just my opinion. I think Spice just looks cleaner. Nothing too crazy. Not like, you know, a deal breaker. Now, the final comparison we're going to make is sound selection. And personally for me, Splice takes a cake on this one. Hear me out for a second while I explain to you what I mean by sound selection. What I mean by sound selection is branding. Producers I'm familiar with. When I go on Splice, I see Southside. I see Palace. I see Wanda Girl. I see John Sign. Like, these are producers I'm familiar with, and I'm curious about their sounds. When I go to Loop Cloud, I'm like, who are these guys? Now, don't get me wrong. I specialize in hip-hop music. I don't specialize in dubstep. I don't specialize in techno music. And I feel like that's what Loop Cloud is geared towards. Because, you know, everywhere I go, it's like techno pack, Afro house. And it's like, cool. Even when you go to genres, right? You go to hip hop and it only has classic hip hop and lo-fi. When you go on Splice and you go to genres, when you go to hip hop, you have trap, R&B, soul. So I feel like Splice is way better when it comes to hip hop sounds and samples. I would like to see more producers featured on Loop Cloud that I'm familiar with. I mean... It would be really nice if, like, you know, we start seeing more producers getting opportunities like this, too. Where, like, you know, let's get an Ocean on here. Let's get a Kyle B. Let's get a Tony Holiday, a Bullet, a producer. Maybe they could do something for Loop Cloud or vice versa. If I'm looking at the future of sampling or these sampling services, I feel like Splice is more in tune when it comes to hip-hop, trap music, or whatever. I, maybe Loop Cloud is more in tune to dubstep and techno, but I like hip-hop music. And I feel like they don't do as much personally. Like, I don't like majority of the samples on Loop Cloud when it comes to hip hop, but I love the ones that Splice offers because they bring producers I'm familiar with and it looks like they're more in tune. So me personally, I would have to say Splice is better for sound selection. Again, it's what you prefer. Don't worry about my opinion. And for example, if you value workflow more, go for that. Go for what service works best for you. At the end of the day, these are just my opinions. And if you're somebody from Loop Cloud or Splice watching my video, like I said, don't take this as criticism. Take this as a way for you to improve your product and service so that we're able to reach a bigger market. With that being said, guys, that's my comparison right there for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Like I said, guys, I want to be as unbiased as possible and tell you the truth and how I feel about both services. I think they're both fantastic and great. I'm not trying to knock them because I have both, right? But at the end of the day, go for the service that you value the most and works best for you. And with that being said, guys, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button with the notification bell. Also, leave a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions for Tutorial Tuesday, leave it in the comment section below. You can also watch other Tutorial Tuesdays. You can watch Freestyle Friday. You can also follow me on social media. All that stuff is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and you have a wonderful day.